sales pertaining to on-demand liquidity increased dramatically for Ripple. The payment industry titan kept on with its expansion and collaborations despite the ongoing legal dispute with the SEC. On XRP, analysts have expressed an optimistic outlook. Watch until the end to know about the recent deal which will propel the token to the moon. Welcome back to another interesting episode. Do make sure to like, share, and comment below as it also encourages us to produce more valuable content for you all. If you have a specific topic you'd like to learn, please leave us a comment below and we'll work on it for you. While the token struggles to gain traction, Ripple Labs, the parent firm of the remittance token, has expressed interest in purchasing the assets of Celsius, the insolvent lending platform. The blockchain payment startup is interested in Celsius assets, according to a Reuters story. But the specific plans are unclear. As of now, neither company has made a public statement regarding its interest in purchasing Ripple Celsius assets. Last month, the Celsius network declared bankruptcy. It had already suspended withdrawals and transfers from user accounts in June. The company is interested in perhaps buying the assets of the defunct cryptocurrency lender, according to a spokeswoman for Ripple who was quoted in the article. According to the source, Ripple is determining if Celsius assets might be important to its goals. The Ripple official, however, made no comments regarding whether Ripple is genuinely interested in buying Celsius. The business stated it had assets worth about $4.3 billion when unveiling its reorganization plans. It declared liabilities of $5.5 billion, assets of $4.3 billion, and $600 million in CEL tokens which are each worth $170 million. The purchase of Celsius assets by Ripple could benefit small-scale investors by providing them with financial relief. In order to meet its financial needs, Celsius has previously stated that it was thinking about selling assets. It added that in order to pay debts, the company would also investigate asset sales and third-party investment alternatives. It stated at the time that the main goal was to increase stakeholder returns. The U.S. Department of Financial Protection and Innovation was recently made aware of the cryptocurrency lender. The government claimed in a ruling that Celsius CEO Alex Mashinsky made substantial misinterpretations and omissions in the selling of cryptocurrency interest accounts. It went on to say that it was particularly good at downplaying the dangers of storing digital assets with Celsius. The price of XRP indicates a desire to go over a crucial resistance level, which it has repeatedly tried to break through over the past three months but failed to do so. Even though this endeavor is like any other and has a chance of failing, especially if the momentum is weak. Through the downturn in the market and the ongoing conflict with the US Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple has continued to expand. Despite the challenges, Ripple, a payments business, is advancing in the East through a number of collaborations. Since the initial breach on June 11, the $0.381 resistance level has been a point of resistance for the XRP price. However, each time Ripple bulls attempted to break through to this level, sellers flooded a move, negating the bullish attempt. The $0.381 barrier has been breached once more by the XRP price in an effort to make a fifth try to turn it into a support floor. There may be a run-up if the buyers are successful in keeping up their buying pressure. But in order for the XRP price to cross the $0.439 barrier, after a 15% increase, bulls must continue to be in control as they must first navigate months of stabilization. Thus, even after a brief flip of the $0.381 resistance level, potential buyers of Ripple should proceed with caution. Even though the price of XRP is trending upward, the first indication of buying weakness will be a daily candlestick closure below $0.381. A break of this level would undermine the bullish argument and cause a move to $0.340 in the event of rejection here. Investors should anticipate XRP price reaching the $0.287 to $0.311 demand zone in such a scenario, which is likely to be a crucial zone in kicking off the subsequent leg higher. The blockchain industry is aiming to build new offices in foreign countries in order to broaden its prospectus and area of operations. Ripple, or XRP, officially announced back in June that it had launched its first office in Canada. This relocation followed the company's plans to relocate to other cities in order to better reach its people throughout the world and provide the greatest amenities for them. According to Brad Garlinghouse, co-founder and CEO of the Ripple Network, the company's new headquarters in Toronto will serve as a crucial engineering hub. The majority of Canadians, according to the CEO of Ripple, have a ton of skill. Garlinghouse also stated in his views that many skilled engineers are switching from traditional banking to the cryptocurrency industry due to the benefits and opportunities in the space. 
When Ripple announced that it was opening an office in the area, Toronto City Mayor John Tory praised the company's cutting-edge technology and claimed that the two would be a natural match. Additionally, Ripple established offices in Dubai and Miami last year. Prior to setting up shop in the nation, Ripple began working with a few Canadian universities as part of a project known as the University Blockchain Research Initiative, or UBRI. This social media rumor claims that there may be some validity to the claims that Ripple XRP may eventually replace the US dollar as a one-world currency since discussions of it becoming a CBDC integrated solution and the company's enormous hiring drive are growing. Dogecoin and Bitcoin serve as examples of how social media may be used to generate buzz about a cryptocurrency and ultimately drive up values. FOMO is the term for the phenomenon whereby consumers purchase something merely out of a desire to not fall behind or fear of missing out. This CBDC rumor will more than likely cause the FOMO frenzy for Ripple and XRP in the coming days. The yearly inflation rate in the US decreased from 9.1% to 8.1%. Analysts expect the rate to drop to 8.7%, but there was a change in opinion about Fed monetary policy as a result of the weaker headline number. Prior to the 10th of August statistics, the markets had anticipated a 75 basis point rate increase, which gave rise to forecasts for a 50 basis point change. Investors are awaiting court decisions on the documents linked to the Hitman speech. Thus, market reactions to updates in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit have been subdued. Despite the circumstances it is in, Ripple has been making ambitious moves to achieve its growth goals on a constant basis. Even though the US Securities and Exchange Commission is suing the payment protocol network system, the case is still pending in court. The judgment has been anticipated for a while, and chances are good that Ripple will defeat the regulator. Since certain motions were recently filed over the previous few days, both number one Ripple and the SEC have submitted motions to the judge asking for the testimony of their expert witnesses to be excluded. According to James Fillon on Twitter, everything related to expert witness testimony is currently under seal. In essence, no one will be able to see it until the judge rules on it. The words of these witnesses won't be available to us for a while in an effort to keep these Hinman emails hidden for the 12th time. The SEC opposed judging Nepern's ruling or redetermination based on the DPP and client attorney privilege, which is what the SEC has been attempting to argue forever. Secondly, Ripple addressed the SEC's objection. The most recent objection from the SEC was addressed by Ripple in a lengthy document, but Ripple is siding with the judge. The client attorney privilege is invalid in that case and the SEC should hand over the records. Once again, this is a ripple which is kind of saying the same thing as the judge. When this whole issue originally started, the SEC had maintained that the Hinman email was unrelated action or personal opinion. However, they quickly recognized that they had made a mistake and that the official guidance had actually been what Ripple is referring to as the SEC trying to keep it under wraps, which is precisely what they are doing. Since they are making every effort to keep these documents from becoming public, it is speculative to assume that some of these documents, including some of these emails, discussed the market participants and what they were or were not told about digital assets, notably XRP being securities. The SEC doesn't want these documents to be made public because doing so might utterly destroy their hope of pursuing the rest of the crypto industry based on some of these emails and what they did or didn't tell Ripple, according to some supposition. Who do you think will win the case, Ripple or the SEC? Do let us know in the comment section. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. All the financial decisions should be made after doing your wide spectrum research. If you found this info helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this, as it also encourages us to produce more valuable content for you all. If you have a specific topic you'd like to learn, please leave us a comment below and we'll work on it for you. Until then.